Be a seeker. And the Bible verse is from Luke chapter 10, verse 21. O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. I love receiving Christmas cards. I like to pray for each sender, though that mainly happens after the rush of Christmas is over. I sort through and choose my favourites, keeping the finalists to one side until my card of the year is selected. It may be that the sender is very special, or the message has been thoughtfully and lovingly composed. Perhaps the picture captures the imagination. This year, my favourite card was chosen not for the picture, but for the words. The colours were harsh, showing a desert scene with camels crossing the sand dunes in the foreground. The words said simply, wise men still seek him. It made me think of the words of Jesus above. We don't have to be intellectuals to understand how our names can be written in the book of life. I am so grateful to God for that, because otherwise I wouldn't have stood a chance. People are wise if they simply seek after God. Let's pray today for the wisdom to trust our Lord and Saviour. And so I pray, Lord, help me to display your love to others, so that they will come and seek and find you. Amen. Mm. So, how did that Christmas card tradition start then? <laughs> well, I always get a lot of Christmas cards. Yeah. And you're almost, you know, sort of overwhelmed by them mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm. And so, because of, of the busyness of Christmas, you just stick them up on the yeah. uh, on wherever you can, any shelf that happens to be available. Yeah, yeah. And uh, think, I'll look at them later. Yeah. And then I thought, well, actually... Let's see what the ones that's, that are really nice. And maybe somebody's written a really nice, thoughtful thing mm -hmm. to me. Or, yeah, yeah, or maybe yeah. it's a beautiful picture of the nativity or mm -hmm. something like that. So it's different every year. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll choose my favourite. Yeah. But also, as I read through each one of them, I pray for the people that are, have taken the trouble to send me a card. That's brilliant. That's really good. That's a that's a that's a, a kind of like a very natural way to pray for people, isn't it? Yes, because they thought about me. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. For my yeah. friendship or whatever. Yeah, that is brilliant. That's really nice. I've thought about and don't do it all the time, but when I do write Christmas cards, I I I try and pray and think about the card. Not all the time, but I think that's a brilliant idea to think about the ones that you receive. And it's after the. All the decorations have come down, and yeah. you're sort of, yeah, and, yeah, and you can just spend an evening looking through and yeah, thinking about the people who've uh, sent them to you. Yeah, it's not a easy feat these days, is it, to write a card and to send it? It's quite time consuming, so it does show a lot of care, doesn't it? it does. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any other traditions and other things that you do around the Christmas time? Well, one of the things that might be helpful for people is that once my husband died. Mm -hmm. We recognise that, that there'll be a, an empty gap at the table. Okay. And so we decided, as mm -hmm. a family, that we would change our traditions completely. Yeah. Because everybody has the traditions of when they have their meal and when mm -hmm. they, you mm -hmm. know, whatever they do. And it's all, uh, almost like a routine. Yeah. And we recognise that we would miss uh, Roy terribly mm -hmm. if, if we continued with the traditions we'd always had. Yeah. So from then on... Yeah, we changed our traditions, and for I mean, he's, it's twenty eight years now since he died. Wow! And every year, mm -hmm. every single year, we've had a different nationality of Christmas. What? Of uh, food every Christmas. No. So we've never had a turkey. <laughs> no way. Hmm. That's right. Um, but it's been such fun. What a fantastic idea. Yes. So tell me, tell us some of the food you've had. Well, what, one of the things that we had was from the Middle East somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. And I discovered just just on Christmas Eve that they always sit on the floor to eat their food. So okay. I, said, I don't have to lay a table. <laughs> <laughs> and the children all thought it was absolutely wonderful, you know. That's the brilliant. So those sort of things... Mm -hmm. Make Christmas fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. And why should we have turkey just because everybody does? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I tell a lie because once our, our one of uh, the family mm. were going to go and work and live in Cambodia, mm-hmm. and the children had never had a turkey, the grandchildren. <laughs> 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 so we did have a turkey that way at yeah. the time so that yeah. they could go off to Cambodia having had a proper Christmas dinner. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's so lovely. We we um we did um Christmas in October once. Oh really? Mm. Why was that? Because um my parents weren't gonna be around for Christmas and my sister had got little kids. I hadn't got any children at the time and they were gonna miss out on it. So we actually had um Christmas in October. And uh, we put the tree up. The whole, the <laughs> Where whole. Where did you get one? Well, it, I think it was an artificial one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So put the tree up, put the decorations up. We had Christmas, the whole thing, the Christmas Eve, the Christmas Day. Oh, how lovely! But the the really weird thing was when we walked out of the house, we thought. Where, where is everybody? Why isn't everybody? Because you got such into that mindset that it was Christmas. Mm. We actually stepped out the door in October. We thought, why isn't everybody else <laughs> celebrating Christmas? I love it. I know. Well, these are the sort of things yeah. that make it fun yeah. and real. Yeah, they are. They mm. are. I love I love some of the ideas of, uh, of this. I really do. And celebrating and thinking about changing traditions and thinking about why we do things. Mm. They're, they're really good. That's really so, good, that is. Sometimes people get stuck in their traditions, don't mm. they? Mm. And we decided we had to do something different. Yeah, yeah. And be a seeker. Be a seeker. So, to be a seeker, um, is it a one-off thing? Or does it, or does it come and go? Or well, I suppose in a way it comes and goes because we're all in different situations all the time. Yeah. But also to be able to share with people. Um, I mean, that's what Activate's all about friendship evangelism yeah, yeah. that we care about other people yeah. that we don't actually collar them and say are you saved but we get, no, to, yeah. we get to know them get yeah. to know people through yeah. getting alongside them in mm-hmm. different ways mm-hmm. in very comfortable ways yeah, yeah. and and so that we can uh, give people the joy of, of the reality of Christmas rather than just the awful extension drudgery yeah 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 oh yeah absolutely you mentioned in there a couple of words which i thought were really good was trust about trusting in god um so um what's what things have you felt that um you've you've ended up trusting god in my life Mm -hmm. um and also for the um the wisdom that he can give me of what i should do and why okay not always have to say yes to people because they want something mm-hmm. done if I don't feel that mm-hmm. this is where God wants me to be mm-hmm. um, or vice versa mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. I don't want to be at somewhere and God says yes mm-hmm. then I have to trust him yeah and I'm where he wants me to be doing yeah. what he wants me to do that's beautiful that's really good it's, it's not easy sometimes <laughs> no I should think it isn't I should think it isn't but I, I love hearing some of your of your stories it's it really is inspirational you're an inspiration and it shows you um when we step towards God like you you have in your life and, and seek to do what he wants, that you it's an exciting life. Well, it seems exciting listening to you, but it, it also inspires others, doesn't it? And we and you've got so much to share because of That's your... That's because I'm an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around a long time, remember oh. that? <laughs> oh, that, 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 oh you're, you're awful like that, you are. No, it's, it's it's lovely hearing your wisdom, and I think it's it's really important to pass that wisdom on to others and to share our lives. It's great, wonderful. Thank you. Shall we pray together? Mm. Lord, thank you for the joy that you've given us mm. as we serve you, and I really pray that we would put that joy into other people's lives as a result mm. of uh, what we're able to say to them. Yeah giving them true life, Mm. life in all its fullness. Mm. Lord, we know that you've also said that in the world you will have trouble, but Mm. you've also said, but be of good courage because Mm. I've overcome the world. Mm. And as you are the overcomer, you enable us to be overcomers in our own circumstances, through Mm. our own problems. Mm. And Lord, we ask that you would enable us Mm. to pass your love onto others. Because we pray in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen.